The egg industry is just a cycle of misery. They lie to you endlessly. Don't buy eggs. Walk away. Go to egg-truth.com today. Why is Dr. Mike so selfish, cowardly, and weak? Why is he not vegan yet? When the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics has clearly stated that well-planned vegan diets are healthful for all ages and stages of development. What's your theory? He likes boxing as a sport to make himself feel strong and manly. Yet he pays every week for innocent chickens to have their throats slit when he eats their limp bodies or when he consumes eggs. What about his oath that says, do no harm? Do you think it should only apply to humans? Why? What about dogs and cats? If he started to eat dogs and cats, how would you feel about that? I guess you probably wouldn't mind. What's the difference, right? Between a pig, a chicken, a cow, a lamb, or a turkey? Why is it that vegan children all around the world are able to control themselves and eat only plants? Why is my 81-year-old Italian mother-in-law able to control herself and eat only plants when she is allergic to gluten and to soy? What do these two have in common, kids and the elderly? And why can't Dr. Mike follow along in their ethical footsteps. The egg industry is just a cycle of misery. They lie to you endlessly. Don't buy eggs. Walk away. Go to egg-truth.com today. It's hard to believe, isn't it? That all these little baby boy chicks are being sent to their death right now. Why? just because they're boys, and they'll never be able to lay eggs, so they're considered to be useless in the industry. They're falling down now, to sharp blades, which will cut them into a million pieces. Yes, all this on their first day of life. All because people like Dr. Mike pay for it. Every time you eat eggs or chickens, you are part of this cycle of violence. And what about this young lady? She has a channel called Call Me Chris. A few months ago, the two of them got together and made some videos. What do you think they talked about when it was time to eat? Do you think either one of them said, Hey, maybe we should try some vegan foods? Or, you know what? That vegan teacher does have a point. We don't have to be mean to animals. With great power comes great responsibility. Both of these people have millions and millions of followers. They have a responsibility to do the right thing. They have a responsibility every time a dead animal is being shown on their screens to say, hey, that was someone. That's not something. We need to work towards a vegan world for the good of everyone, to protect the planet, our own health, and especially the animals who've done nothing wrong. The egg industry is just a cycle of misery. They lie to you endlessly. Don't buy eggs. Walk away. Go to egg-truth.com today. What do you guys think? Which one of these two will become vegan first? Do you think it will be Dr. Mike? Or do you think it will be Call Me Chris? I don't know. But somebody has to go first, because it's inevitable. We are going to have a vegan world. We're headed that way. Now think about it. In the future, when your grandkids look back on you and they say, were you part of the solution or were you part of the problem? Don't you want to be able to be proud and say to them, I was one of the first ones to become vegan and have your grandchild look at you with pride? Speciesism is the first form of racism. If we taught kids at a young age to be kind to all animals, no matter what their size, we would have a more peaceful world. We really would. 
So join me and become vegan. Don't wait for Call Me Chris or for Dr. Mike to do it first. You do it. You get there first. I'm rooting for you. Happy Vegan Declaration Day. I'll see you all in the next video. I'll remember this day. I'll remember this moment. Today's the first day of the rest of my vegan life. I'll remember this feeling. I'll remember this love. Today's the first day of the rest of my vegan life. From this day forward, I will always be proud to be vegan and I will declare it out loud. I'm here to save you. I'm here to save you, little lambs, chickens, turkeys, fish, pigs, and cows too. I'm here because a vegan teacher helped me to see beyond myself, deep into the eyes. Let's follow that vegan teacher on YouTube right now.